Boiling point elevation delta T B as a consequence of vapor pressure lowering delta P means the non-volatile solute is added into the pure solvent so less surface area is available to evaporate the solvent molecule so less vapors are produced by that solution and the vapor pressure of the solution is lower than that of the vapor pressure of pure solvent as the vapor pressure lower so boiling point obviously increase to understand the elevation of boiling point let us compare the vapor pressure of solution p and the vapor pressure of solvent p not the vapor pressure of solution p and vapor pressure of the solvent p not are plotted as a function of temperature as shown in figure 2.6 as stated in section 2.7 that at any temperature the vapor pressure of solution as shown by the curve cd which is the p is lower than the vapor pressure of solvent and shown by the curve ab and there a vapor pressure which is p not Hence, the vapor pressure temperature curve CD lies below the vapor pressure curve of the solvent AB. So, the difference is between the vapor pressures of the solvent and the solution, it is delta P and is the lowering of vapor pressure. The difference between the two vapor pressure delta P increases as the temperature and the vapor pressures increases as predicted by the equation delta P is equal to x2 multiplied by P naught 1. Intersection of the curve CD with the line corresponding to the pressure 760 mm or 180 m is the boiling point of solution. Here the horizontal line drawn it is the atmospheric pressure and their atmospheric pressure is 760 mm or 180 m. If the vapor pressure of the solvent or the vapor pressure of solution becomes equal to that line or the vapor pressure curve uh, of solvent and vapor pressure curve of solution intersect at that point with the atmospheric pressure it is the boiling point of the solvent and the boiling point of the solution and the current temperature corresponding to the intersection it is the boiling point of the solution and denoted by TB. Similarly the vapor pressure curve AB of the pure solvent intersect to the horizontal line and their pressure becomes 760 mm or 180 m and the ten temperature corresponding to that intersection point it is the boiling point of the pure solvent and denoted by T naught B. Here the boiling point of the solvent it is less than that of the boiling point of the solution containing non-volatile solute. It is clear from the figure that the boiling point TB of solution is higher than that of boiling point of pure solvent T naught B. At the boiling point of a liquid, its vapor pressure P becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure. In order to reach boiling point, the solution and the solvent must be heated to a temperature at which their respective vapor pressures becomes 180 m or 760 mm of Hg. At any given temperature, the vapor pressure of solution P is lower than that of the vapor pressure of solvent P0. Hence, the vapor pressure of solution P needs to higher temperature to reach one atmospheric pressure 
than that needed for the vapor pressure of solvent in other word the solution must be heated to higher temperature to cause it to boil than the pure solvent for new and newer videos please like subscribe and comment on my channel and press bell icon button for new updated videos